Euro FX spiked in the early going, touching multi-week highs in the process, largely due to the carryover from the ECB uh, meeting early in the day, where ECB raised forecasts for both GDP and inflation, talked about winding down their pandemic emergency purchase program, however, potentially adding 20 to 40 billion euros a month to their long-term asset program. That was enough to get the euro moving uh, to the upside. Also saw German 10-year uh, yields, boon yields, drop to a, a three-week, I'm sorry, raised to a three-week high. Economic data in the eurozone was largely good. Uh, eurozone manufacturing PMI declined less than expected, as did the German December manufacturing PMI. That said, we get into the bulk of our session here in the U.S., and the futures retreated ever so slightly, price action muted. Some are saying that it perhaps had something to do with the somewhat um, hawkish surprise coming out of the Fed meeting, a surprise implementation of perhaps three hikes next year as opposed to two. Data here in the U.S. was good. Initial claims, <clears throat> continuing claims in aggregate were strong. Uh, on a four-week average, we're right now at the lowest level we've seen since March 2020. Housing starts were strong, as were building permits. That said, we saw um, our treasury yields down, especially in the short end of the curve. Equity market struggling. That said, um, not helping the dollar a whole lot and just keeping the euro afloat. When it comes to options, I look at the CME Group C ball and looking at March uh, right now, in a one-month basis, 20th percentile, three-month basis, the 80th percentile. March at the money balls, as of yesterday's close, are lower, or were lower. Both up variance and down variance, or up calling and pulling are both down, but equally so, so skew is flat. Today's volume and options in March, 115 call, seems to be the leader. Um, on the put side, 113 put.